Sabrina. Hello, Miss Moore. How are you? Appreciate you stopping by. Unless you're cooking. Are you cooking with us tonight? How fast did you prep everything, Jay? Yeah. We're continuing our tour around the world. I'm good, H. How's that virtual teaching coming for you? We ready. Hey, Keandra. I'm ready over here. What does y'all's amusing applause look like? Y'all ready? I'm good, Sabrina. Why are you just watching? You gotta join us one day. I'll tell you guys what, every week I forgot to do my prep. I forget. And I gotta catch up. Well, Meese, welcome in. Stranger danger. What's going on, Brooks? You going to Columbus this weekend? Miss Williams, welcome, welcome. Some new faces tonight. I like it. I like it. Maybe one day y'all start cooking with us. Hey, Kathy. Good evening. We'll get started in about two minutes for those late arrivals that we have coming. I know, Diana. That's why I do it. So I'll be down there with you, Brooks. Sharekia, there you are. I was wondering. And Sharekia, I'll be messaging you this evening after the class to finish our conversation. Mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, everybody, we're going to get our pans, our first pan, we're going to get on medium heat, and our second pan, we're going to get on low. Let me get this Thai food knocked out the way. Once again, before we get started, please share this video, share this live feed, so everybody see what we're doing and how we're cooking in this class. I think I got to get kind of coconut milk. What did y'all get? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's rock out. So, all we have tonight, I have my two pans, my sauce pot, and then my big pot for my rice. Pretty easy. Not a lot of dishes. Well, I say that now, right? I know. I'm bad about that. Hey, Helen. How are you tonight? Let's go get our dishes out. I think I'll do a plate. And we'll go with the bowl. We'll switch it up tonight. We'll get two different dishes going. All right, if you just walked in or just joined us, please have your two pans going. The first pan is on medium heat. Our second pan is on low. We will not need the oven tonight. Turn my exhaust fan on. Actually, not yet. All right, about 30 seconds, we're gonna get going. Mahi Mahi's and a marinade. Mahi. 
So just make sure when we pull this out to marinade, we reserve the marinade and we will add that at the end of the, the dish to create a glaze for the fish. A little sweet, a little spice from the, from the sweet chili sauce, the crushed red pepper. We'll see, we're hot. Yeah. I was talking about let your fish presentation side down first. That's the side away from the veins and where the skin is. So we'll lay this away from us. Get that fish in there. We'll go to medium high heat. Make sure you kind of just lift up the fish a little bit, let that oil get back under it so we get a good sear on our fish. We're cooking this at medium high now. And just keep moving the fish around. Remember, as you're cooking anything in a saute pan, you want to kind of just move it around the pan because you will have hot spots with your pan and you want to make sure you're cooking everything evenly. So I just kind of rotate them around the pan. And as you see, we're starting to get some white around the base of the edge of the fish and start to creep up towards the middle. So we're almost at a point we want to flip it. And not yet. I'm going to pull some person. You really smell that marinade, that brown sugar? The sweetness, a little bit of spice. All right, so we're letting that cook. What's going on, Terry? One more minute on the presentation side. And when I say presentation side, once again, I'm just saying that's the side we'll present the dish. This will be the side that the, the guest or the person eating will see first. Yeah, that looks pretty good, right? Evenly seared, nice and golden brown. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, one more. Yeah, look at that. All right. So once we got, got it with a good sear, I'm gonna take that off the heat. I'm gonna move it to the back where I have that low, low heat going. And then I'm going to add the rest of my marinade right on top of the fish. And we'll cook that on low. Uh, I ended up getting fresh mahi mahi and it has a skin side. Okay. That's fine. We'll just make sure that 
the skin side will be up first, Toya. So we still gotta cook it with the presentation side down. And then when you flip it and put it on low, that should be the skin side down. Yeah, I went to three places today. Nobody had the fresh mahi, so I'm a little disappointed with myself. All right, so now that we brought up our second pan, we got our mahi back there on low. Uh, this pan, we're gonna get started for our vegetables. I'm doing two tablespoons of oil. And I'm gonna cut some vegetables while y'all are finishing up your fish. Let me know, give me a thumbs up. Once you have flipped your fish and you have it on low. So for our vegetables, we're gonna use half of a white onion, medium dice. cutting our vegetables a little bit bigger today because we want to make sure that we have some body and texture for our curry. Can I put the chicken in the oven? Is that Nikki? Yep. Yes. Yeah, Nikki. Uh, Nikki, you don't need to know more than right about eight minutes, especially if you're cutting the strips. So I wanted half inch silver dollars. It's probably a little thin, more like a quarter inch. So we're going to half inch, we're a little bit thicker. And remember what we talked about last week when you cut your onion? Make sure you have a nice sharp knife. That'll keep you from crying as we're cutting through. My bell pepper. This should be a nice cooling in. A little bit of a blue spot right there. <laughs> Jay said, thank God I did all of this. I'm already tired. Already, Jay? We just started. That's right. why we put the prep list out, Jay. For this very reason. Yeah. Imagine if you were trying to keep up with him. Some of y'all could at this point. Oh, no, that last cut would have been my finger. You or you could do that. Mm -hmm. Let me take that. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So once our pan, our second pan is hot, we're gonna add in four tablespoons of fresh garlic, minced garlic, I should say. <laughs> Diana, this is the brand, but they are a little on the uh, pricey side. So once our garlic, we're gonna add a teaspoon of ground ginger. We're gonna add in, this is optional, half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Half a teaspoon of our seasoned pepper. And a teaspoon of dry basil. I just wanna just cook that down real quick. Get those spices a little aromatic, fragrant.
And once it starts to kind of dry up, we're gonna add in our zucchini, peppers, and onions. How much garlic did you add in? Um, four tablespoons. Four tablespoons. A lot of garlic. <laughs> uh, the veggies, Nikki. Half an onion, diced. He did like a medium dice on the onions. Um, orange bell pepper, red. No, sorry. Was that orange or yellow? Red. Yellow. yellow and red bell pepper. Zucchini. And then he put in the skillet. Uh, olive oil with four tablespoons of garlic and a teaspoon of ground ginger. And then we added half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, half a teaspoon of seasoned pepper blend, and a full teaspoon of dry basil. Cut that. We're gonna let those vegetables cook I'll, down. Um, I'll pin the seasoning for y'all. I see a lot of y'all are asking for the seasoning. And this should be on medium. And then one teaspoon of everything else. Yeah, a teaspoon of uh, ginger, basil, have a teaspoon of seasoned pepper blend, and crushed red pepper. Okay, Just make sure your vegetables are nice and separate. We've cut all the way through. How much uh, pepper blend did you add? Half a teaspoon. I'm gonna cook those vegetables down, everybody. Nikki, can you see that? I just pinned it. Remember, if you're on the computer, you have to scroll up. Toya, can you see the... Um, the seasonings as well. That's all right. Don't feel comfortable doing the flip. So just make sure you got your tongs and we're just constantly separating everything. You want to really smell that garlic, that ginger. Now, once we check our fish, we want to make sure that it's plump all the way through. See how it's kind of starting to flake a little bit? That means our fish is done. So just cut it off and let it sit. We don't worry about these vegetables. Nikki, the veggies were half an onion, red and yellow bell peppers. One each one whole red and one whole yellow mm -hmm. and then zucchini one each one whole zucchini so really it's just four vegetables that you tossed in it as a minute, yeah like if i count the bell, bell pepper separately right. all right everybody so while our veggies are cooking on medium heat we're gonna start our curry sauce. So I'm gonna start with one can of coconut milk. Make sure you shake well before you open it. You should get all that fat in there. We're gonna add in 
half a cup of our vegetable stock. I'm going to pan this for y'all guys so y'all will have it as well. We're going to add two tablespoons of that red curry paste. See, we could have made our own red curry paste, but I felt for just this one dish and a quick weeknight meal that we didn't want to take the extra steps of blending dried, dried chilies and lemongrass, garlic, and all that extra stuff. So that's why we are just buying the, the paste already made. What is the milk on? Um, I got it on medium, medium high. We're gonna whisk that. We're gonna add in a little bit of sriracha if you like the heat. This is optional. Add about a tablespoon of sriracha. a tablespoon yes optional if you like heat if you don't like heat you don't want the extra spice you can leave the sriracha out tablespoon of dry basil we we'll get a little earthy flavor so we're gonna add in two bay leaves Make sure that red curry paste is really fully incorporated. Uh, how much vegetable stock did you just have? A half a cup. Oh, I didn't put that in my thing. Huh? I didn't put vegetable stock on here. Now I'm going to season my vegetables with a teaspoon of kosher salt. Uh, he did two tablespoons of curry paste. I forgot to add the vegetable stock in there, y'all. Half a cup. Half a cup. We'll make sure our vegetables are cooking down. Uh, Toya, that's two tablespoons, not half a cup. Of <laughs> half a cup of chicken stock. Half a cup of chicken stock. Vegetable stock, two tablespoons of curry paste. Mucky, mucky. And the curry sauce. The red curry sauce we're gonna wine break. Wine break, okay. It does seem like he's on fast fast forward today, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm moving a little fast? You're moving a little fast. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. like you're being speed racer today. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So back to our red curry sauce. We started one can of coconut milk. We added in a half a cup of vegetable stock. We added two tablespoons of our red curry paste. One tablespoon of sriracha, which is optional if you want to add the heat. We added in one tablespoon of dry basil. <laughs> Somebody, Diana said, wine, wine, wine. Oh, too fast, chef. Hold on. Yeah, hold on, y'all. Let me get him a drink. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know why he's on fast forward today. <laughs> do you drink white or red wine with mahi mahi? Uh, with red curry, I would probably do white. With the spice, I would go with either maybe a Sauvignon Blanc or a Riesling, which is a little sweeter. So I got to counteract the spice. Um, some cold sake can be really well just as well. For those who like sake, sake. So, how does your fish look and how does your vegetables smell? We should be getting that curry sauce to a boil very soon. Diana, I always need a glass with my food. She said we need wine pairings with meals. Listen. Yeah, I'm not even, yeah, that's the only thing is, I'm not a white wine drinker. I prefer red. Tisha said, I'm just watching today because she's getting ready for a vacation. This is funny and I want some wine now. <laughs> I do too. I gotta get my Tishi's kids in the morning, so I can't do that. Yeah, so we're gonna taste our sauce. See where we're at. Uh, half a cup of stock, right? Yes. Half a cup of stock, Nikki. Nikki is doing two separate dishes, y'all. So she's making. The chicken version of this, as well as the mahi. the mahi version. So more power to her. Cause Kelly would have had chicken eggs. <laughs> <laughs> So we're slowly starting to get to a boil. We're probably at a, at a simmer right now. Then once we get up to a boil, we will add our slurry. And once again, our slurry is just cornstarch with the liquid. And today our liquid will be a little more vegetable stock. So we're not. Oh, H is too. She's doing chicken and fish. Oh, y'all so nice. So the cornstarch should not be added into this as of yet. Not yet. I pinned it though. That's good. No. You're following that recipe. Don't have, do not add in the cornstarch yet, y'all. You're going to make a slurry. Hey, I used the right turn. Go on in turn. Ooh, ooh. So I'm just constantly whisking just to make sure we get that red curry paste. Toy said, dang, I added it. See? That's fine. All you're doing is Toy is going to thicken up on you once it starts to boil. Um, if you feel like it gets too thick, we're just going to add a little more chicken. Oh, I keep saying chicken stock. Right? A little more vegetable stock. So everybody who ordered, who added in the starch, which I think it was everybody. That's why we'll add it in as I'm starting to boil now. So I'm gonna add in my. The only reason we usually add it with a liquid is to make sure that we don't get clumps. We don't get clumps. So as you see, it's kind of rising. We're gonna take it off the heat. We're gonna slowly whisk in that, or briskly whisk in that cornstarch. One tablespoon, Diana. One tablespoon of cornstarch. He went on ahead and added his in. He wanted to make a slurry. Um, but he went on ahead and added in. Just make sure y'all are whisking very well. Yes. And then go ahead and cut it down to a low heat once you've added in your cornstarch. So I'm on low heat right now. This is the time where everybody should take a spoon and taste your sauce. If you want more curry flavor, you can add a little more paste, curry powder, or even a little bit of kosher salt to enhance the flavor. Let me get in here so y'all can see that. Like 
like I said, this recipe is a guideline. We always just give you the tools that we that we think you need to make your own, but this is your dish. So if you add more of something, less of something, once again, you are catering to your family's needs and to yourself. So like I said, if you like more curry, a little more spice, go ahead and add it in. If it's too strong, add in a little of the vegetable stock. Once you've tasted your, your sauce, give me a thumbs up if we're ready to keep going. Diana said hers is a little bland. Yeah, we haven't added any salt yet. So should she wait until after we have add the salt and then go from there? She could add, once again, so you know we're spice lovers, so we're gonna add in one more tablespoon of curry paste. Diane, go ahead and lightly season to taste your your sauce with kosher salt. And I always like to taste my sauce before I add any of the salt. Because you can always add in, but you can't take it out. So now that we're on low, it should be nice and thick. Or thick earth. I'm gonna use a spoon to kind of see. I was kind of cascading the spoon. Got a good viscosity. Oh, big word. Has a nice velvety look to it. Somewhat of a sheen. Race of the day, I told you. I don't know why. Mm -hmm, why you? you got somewhere to be? No. <laughs> All right. So back to our vegetables. Diana, how is yours once you um, seasoned it with salt and pepper? He added a little more curry to ours just for the spice factor. How we feeling, guys? Talk to me. Let me know where you're at. Am I still going too fast? Nikki said hers isn't bland. Who? Nikki. He said everybody's curry is going to be a little bit different. Depending on... He said, these are all preferences. We're just giving guidelines. We're giving the, the basics. And you can enhance it. Better. She said it's better. Yeah. Something is missing. What's missing, Nikki? You can't. Nikki, did you already add your cornstarch to thicken it? H said her sauce is good. Jay said I'm alive. <laughs> that extra hit of hot took me there. <laughs> That's me, Jay. I need the spice. Like, let me know. Medium food. Uh, she said curry is missing. The curry flavor? Yeah. What kind of paste do you have? Do you have any curry? I would add another tablespoon of your red curry paste. If that's Nikki for your body. Is that gonna make it spicy though? Because you know she's cooking for Kennedy. Well, I told her to keep it separate. She should be making two different oh, okay. ones. So if it's good now, I would pull that to the side, some for for the chicken dish, and then finish yours the way you want it. All right, so we got our vegetables back on. We're heating those back up. And once your sauce is good and you're happy with it. Pour that right over your vegetables. Get that in 
infused together. Yep. Let that flavor get into our vegetables. Uh oh. Is it playing now, Diana? Or just she said the video stopped. Everybody still with us? Um, I see it on my end. Yeah, I can still see it over here. Because I virtually teach all day. Diana, that might be your connection. Click off and then come back on. That's the end all solution. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna leave it on medium low. We're gonna continue just to let that reduce down. I'm gonna throw in. <laughs> you know how it is. Look at y'all so y'all can see that. I'm just going to throw out just some fresh mm -mm. cilantro leaves. Yes, contrast. Just let that sit right on top. Sorry, y'all. Yes, Diana. Just mix in your sauce and veggies, and I just added in a tablespoon, I'm sorry, a quarter cup of fresh cilantro leaves. And you're making a red curry sauce right now with vegetables thank you Jamil is anybody else having issues seeing the, the video looks like the views are dropping down a little bit I want to make sure everybody's still here there's our Thai Mahi Mahi Once your sauce is starting to kind of boil and simmer, we're going to cut that down to low. All right, Jay, how's it? How's it looking, Jay? How's it smell? Let's get some people back. All right, and we're gonna start cooking our rice. This last thing, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, Letitia, take Chef Ken on vacation. She said this looks delicious. No, I'm so sad. I may have to recreate on vacation. This looks amazing. All right. So we have our rice. Depending on the amount of people you're feeding, I'm starting with two cups of rice. I am going to add. How do a, I screenshot or save the recipe? A third of a cup of. Uh, you would have to use the video to uh, get the recipe. Vegetable stock. Put an olive oil. And after tonight, the video goes up on his YouTube channel. Tablespoon of lime juice. Mm -hmm. 
And then we're gonna add in that chiffonade basil. That you didn't chiffonade. Hmm? I never do my prep work. I'm sorry. You're welcome. So that tells me that somebody is up out of the bed. And typically in Thai cuisine, we would use kaffir limes or kaffir lime juice or Thai lime just for that nice, intense citrus flavor, but that's just one more product that we're not going to use that often. So we're okay with using regular lime juice. So I just added in basil that we already had chiffonade. Tablespoon of lime juice. We're just going to bring this to temperature. We have a first timer, Jamil. This is her first time. Welcome, what Jamil. is his channel? Would you like to share with us your YouTube, YouTube channel? Is Chef Ken Robinson. Check us out. Love to have you. So now I'm going to add in. Uh, is that green onions? No. No. Basil. Lime juice. Salt. Red pepper and olive oil. Um, did you add in the broth or the stock? Yep. And how much third, did you a add? Of, a third of a cup. should be smelling amazing right now from the red curry to the fresh basil garlic I'm adding a little seasoned pepper yes to the rice the broth you add it into yeah, the rice third of, yep third of a cup we're just keeping it moist so we're not burning it as we're heating it up Uh, Kathy, I added a, a tablespoon of olive oil. Should we keep stirring our vegetables? Is it soaks up that flavor, that red curry? What's going on, Bernard? How you doing, sir? Let's go ahead and taste our rice. Mm, nice and hot. Good flavor. There's that basil. Man, just a touch of stock. So you can make it a half a cup of stock. For us, just a touch more. <coughs> Excuse me, a little kosher salt, and I'm ready to plate. Did you repeat the seasoning for the rice? Toya asks, "Can you repeat the seasoning for the rice?" Yeah. So okay. all together, I have a teaspoon of kosher salt, a teaspoon of seasoned pepper. 
a pinch of crushed red pepper. We don't need much spice. A tablespoon of fresh lime juice, or lime juice, I'm sorry. Two tablespoons of chiffonade basil. Uh, Tiffany, we use the sweet chili sauce in the the marinade for the mahi. Jamil said, Chef JJ in New York would love this. He loves rice. <laughs> we got to introduce us, Jamil. So I'm turning my rice off. Nikki, we haven't got to the green onion yet, darling. Not yet, Jay. What? Same question as Nikki. Give y'all a final look of everything. We haven't used the green onion yet, Nikki. can't wait to see the pictures for this so I'm most excited about these colors all right guys we're ready plate oh uh, chase that's mean hey chase this is just a at-home cooking class we got time to answer all questions but sorry if it slows you down and you're plating, but we're just here to teach and answer all questions. So I'll always make time. <laughs> Need a nap. <laughs> all right, guys. After you eat, you can take you a nap. <laughs> so I'll bring our first plate over here. Actually, I'll do it to my bowl. Okay. He's gonna do his plating, y'all. I think he's doing two different plates. Yeah. Right, Leticia, like you know, the picks this week are going to be absolutely amazing with all these colors. Woo. in there as well good amount of vegetables for this one i'm just gonna pour it right on top oh can we have done ver um mushrooms for a vegan version yeah nice shiitake mushrooms have been well mm -hmm. i'll take that i can use the stand up right on top Stand up. I'll wipe my plate in a second. No worries, guys. And we're gonna take our fish. Lay that right on top. So go right there. Cross that one. All right. And to take that nice glaze that we made. And just write down just the back of the fish. So that's gonna be a little sweet to our spice. <laughs> Have it to my eyes. Yes. And Jamel, when you cook it, take a picture and post it um, and tag Chef Ken in it. Um, you can do Facebook or Instagram. 
I cannot wait to eat this. Oh, there y'all go. Our green onions. Y'all were asking about those green onions. Right in. Just a little bit of lime just to give a little, a little acidity, a little flavor. <laughs> She will said this is torture. <laughs> I could not wait, y'all. Look at that. Oh my god, y'all. Just a little more cilantro. We want those fresh herbs in there. There we go. And then take my little sriracha and drizzle on the plate. There you go. There we go. We got a little Thai mahi mahi with the red curry sauce, basmati rice, fresh vegetables. Plastic about 45 minutes. But I know we are doing a lot of things from scratch. So thank you for your time. Please take a picture of your final dish, post it, tag us. Let me say thank you for again for cooking with a weeknight meal with Chef Ken. If you've enjoyed everything, send us a tip, cash out, show some love. Dollar sign Chef Ken Rob. And we'll see you next week. Thank y'all. <laughs> Enjoy.